Hello my glorious epic army, this is your pal Nova with less than epic. Hey, did anyone notice the little bit of a uh, feng shui we've been changing around here? A little bit of rebranding. We have a uh, new intro, we also have a uh, new logo, and new thumbnails. Hopefully more to come soon. Let us know what you think about that either in Discord or in the comments below. But let's get back to this video. Today I want to break down the live letter or the letter from the developer from ashes of creation that dropped on july 16 2019 let's take a look real close at it and see if it's just smoke and mirrors or if they're actually giving us some good info Alrighty, boys and girls i want to break this down section by section so that we don't get too far off track hopefully Oh, and maybe I should put a disclaimer here. This is my opinion, and it's okay to have your own opinion, even if it's different than mine. If you do have a different opinion, please drop it in the comments below. Let's chat about it. We can also talk about it in Discord, if that's your thing. In the background, you're going to see a video, which is the video they posted along with this live letter, developer letter, whatever it is. Um, and it shows caravans and the mayoral. It talks a little bit of the mayoral system, but we're going to break that section down a little bit later. Starting off, we got a little welcome from Steven. And they noted that the new developer diaries, articles, and live stream format, they say that that has been much improved. Hold up a minute. I might be the minority here, but I feel like most of this really isn't showing us anything that new. I love the behind the scenes stuff and I watch all the no clip documentaries about uh, behind the scenes video game and just what's going on with devs and stuff. I actually have a couple of friends who are devs. I think that's all cool stuff, but these don't feel like anything to me. They just show you a little bit of stuff to get you like, oh wow, look at that. And there's not really any content here. Problem is that I feel like they're putting out content with no weight. It's very shallow. I don't. I want real, I want something more than just, hey, look at this picture. It looks cool, right? And that extends into the articles where I feel like they're even getting a little worse. And if you watch my previous video on Ashes, which is right up over here, you will, uh, you will know that I talked about this little cosmetic sale thing before. But what I feel like they're doing, and if you look at the articles, at least half of them are trying to push more sales of cosmetics. I know they got some lore in them too, and the lore ones that don't push sales are pretty neat, but they're pushing more sales of cosmetics, and I just can't get behind this. This is a, one of the major problems that we have with Ashes of Creation right now. Just stop trying to sell us crap. Lastly, the live streams. I love the format. It's a lot better, and Margaret keeps everybody on track way, way, way better. However, I still feel like the information they're giving us is just not deep. It's just the same old very very you know like public relations put on speech that's very high level so that they don't give away too much it just keeps uh, i i don't know i just feel like it doesn't have any weight to it it's not very deep they just give us a little bit of information to keep you interested but after following this game for a while it seems like i keep hearing the same information Next up, they had a quick blurb about the team members, and I think this is great. I love that they're showing off their team members and, and that they're hiring new people. That is a good thing. Keep hiring good new people and make this MMO launch, please. Ugh. Apocalypse. Where to begin with this? I know that this is supposed to be testing things for the MMO. And I know that they're learning things from the server side. And I know... That they said that this is really good and really great learning experience but honestly this is probably my second biggest complaint with ashes of creation nobody cares about a battle royale mode we want a mmorpg just kill the stupid apocalypse side project already anyway the good news is that august 20th they will start testing the battle royale again if you like that battle royale thing which will include changes to performance, yes, because it was really bad last time. Combat changes and some UI changes. And some more good news, I will be streaming this as soon as I can. I don't know if I'll get in on August 20th, but as soon as they roll the test out wide enough that I get in with my Kickstarter backing, 
I will be streaming it on YouTube for you. Make sure to check, uh, keep, sorry, make sure to keep an eye on our YouTube and also join our Discord. The link is in the description below so that we keep you up to date. Now onto the meat and potatoes of this live letter if you're interested in an MMORPG. What the f am I looking at right now? Dogs? Cats? You seriously want me to vote on which dog and cat I like? This is... I, I don't know what... I, I could not expect this. What is this crap? I don't care about a freaking dog and a cat. I want to know about the MMORPG. But before we move on to a little bit more about that, since I really don't care, I want you guys to vote in the comments below which dog, which you can see right now, and which cat, which you can see right now. I'll also post the link in the description so you can go look at them closer on the website. Let me know in the comments below which one you like best. I will uh, cast the vote based on what the comments say. Whichever one you guys pick will be voted on by me. Moving on. So some more information about the MMORPG is the mayoral system and the caravan system. The mayoral car caravan system anyway. So what we learned is that players will be able to vote in a mayor. Um, you'll be see they show a little screen on the UI. In the UI you get to vote which mayor you want. We also get to see the caravan system a little bit closer. And I say a little bit because it's very, very little that we see. All we see is a horse pulling a carriage until they get to the next node. Uh, there's some, looks like a couple uh, times that they get attacked by some NPCs, I'm guessing. And the uh, players help kill it. That's really all we see. Now, what bothers me with this is there could be so much more that they could show or talk about. I mean, what about what what do we get for rewards for helping with the system? What are the rewards for taking down the system? What is the the uh, what are we risking by sending this caravan out? Do we risk everything in the caravan being lost or is it a softer system where we don't lose everything? I just I feel like they could have delved so much deeper into this caravan system. I'm I'm kind of disappointed. But we did get to see a little bit of the world, a little bit of the MMO. Yeah, that's great. And really, that's it, except for one last thing. This stamp. And can you please look at this? Like, take a close look at this. Like, put this video full screen. Did a freaking 12-year-old do your stamp graphics, Steven? I swear this is unedited from the website. This is literally what's posted on their website right now. You can go look at it. Look at the rough edges on this. And they're supposed to be hiring graphic artists, I guess. Uh, apparently, they don't know how to use Photoshop really well. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's not great, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the ranting. Maybe this is because I've been so closely monitoring this game. And I'm starting to feel like everything that they put out is just the same old info. Maybe if you're new to this game, it's great info for you. Or maybe... I'm seeing it just as it is. It's just smoke and mirrors while they're, I don't know, either taking everybody's money or making an MMO. I don't know. Please let me know where you stand and hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button. Cast your vote for the kitty and puppy in the comments and always hit that subscribe button. Also keep an eye out for live streams on YouTube and Twitch as we play other MMOs while we wait for great ones. Thanks everyone and have yourselves a good day.